Well, so it's still midday life. Thanks for staying with us. It's time for us to do business with me, Nana Ikea Mensa Brampa. This afternoon, we are looking at how far the NPC meeting went, talking about the policy rate. Kukutime will join us shortly on the phone to tell us exactly why the central bank decided to move or increase the policy rate to 21% from the 19% that we already have or analysts were still expecting to be maintained. Hello, Koku, thanks for joining us. Hello, thanks, Nanekia, for having me. Now, you would agree that this morning we had a lot of analysts predicting the policy rates would be maintained at 19%. Now, we're seeing an increase to 21%. What might have accounted for this? Well, Nana, the Central Bank and the Monetary Policy Committee decided to inch it up by 200 basis points to 21%. And their major concern is that this move is just a correctional measure. They are going to still lend to the banks at 24%. Now, what it, is, it implies is if viewers can just uh, get a clearer understanding of it, that the commercial banks are actually uh, having a rate that is way up. And when you look critically at the figure that they have uh, picked the policy rate, which is at 19%, the gap is quite wide. So the Monetary Police Committee decided that let us inch it up closer to that gap as a correctional measure, but not as a rate at which we will borrow to the various banks. So, so in, in other ways, to get a clearer understanding, they were, in their opinion, just inching it up by the 200 basis points, mm. not just at the end of the day, getting the figure, um, the rates that uh, the various banks would have to borrow uh, increase, but necessarily getting the figure up. And that is what uh, they are saying. But Anna, you would agree that um, the concern is now with the banks. Have the banks been able to um, maintain or respect the, the, the view of the central bank anytime the policy rate is increased. You get me clearer when I give you this analogy. For instance, pegged at 19%, the right. banks were giving loans out at probably 28%, some uh, lending rate uh, 30%, and it was just not respecting um, the figure that the central bank had given. Now, they come in that this is a correctional measure. Our concern is really will this change would we go to the banks tomorrow and they would just be doing uh, their own uh, giving out their own figures that now no, we are Kweku, going to are you Kweku? Kweku? yes no, no. if you say that it's a correctional measure are you implying this is not in any way going to affect interest rates because that has been a major concern for most financial analysts uh, uh, we've uh, had exactly discussions what with. the central bank governor right. said that look uh, i don't expect this to affect the rate at which the banks are lending to the business mm. community is lending to the business community now and for me that um, hit a uh, little uh, line I, I, of confusion I, I, for me Kweku, because the banks would do what they would have to do anyway Kweku, is it your expectation that it is not going to affect the interest rate or that is the analogy from that, the that central bank the analogy the central bank gave well that i'm sure you would, you would give this us this move is a, a, it's a correct number that okay. is expected to affect All right. uh, the rates uh, that so i don't know how they are going to go about it whether they are going to discuss with them further whether they are going to ensure that they maintain their grounds that don't increase it and uh, this was just a correction on okay uh, i'm going right. to get a clearer understanding of uh, indeed what okay. you mean by uh, and, and i'm sure thing. you'll be giving us more detail um i'm sure you still have the central bank and you'll be gathering more information regarding this increase of the policy rate and we'll get the detail of this and more later in our subsequent bulletins thank you so much Kweku Timmy, my colleague at the central bank giving us the latest on the policy rate increasing to 21 percent and we understand the bank of ghana says this is a correctional measure i'm sure we could explain more into detail when he gets back and interestingly we have the consumer price inflation also at 16.9 percent for the month of october up from 0.4 percentage points from 16.5 percent we will give you more detail on that particular one also in our subsequent bulletins but let's look at some news coming in from the central region and we understand local palm oil producers in Asin Nyankumase that is in the Asin Fosu district of the central region wants government to support them with soft loans to enhance their businesses well they contend loans from private banks attract huge interests 
um, shooting up production course. Nana Kukwedu, I was there, and he has this report. 50,000 tons of palm oil. The estimated demand in the ECOWAS sub-region is 850,000 tons. But these producers at Asin Nyankumase have decried the huge interest on loans they contract from the banks and want government assistance. <laughs> February, March, April, May. Now, Bena Baby Bray, it is a bassa. They are near sky at the bay. It is out of your toy and one of the wood yet. And they are the war will be our best soil. Munawa Boya, Obama is cast out of me and one of the Nanka Timia store.